Hey, how you guys doing out there? This is Rob Math, and I'm here at NAM 2022 with Positive Grid, and we are checking out the uh, new Spark Mini. Oh, we're not checking it out. We're actually demoing it. We're showing you what this does. This is an awesome new portable uh, battery-powered guitar amplifier that gives you about eight hours of uh, of life on one charge. It sounds amazing and as a guitar amp, but it also doubles as a uh, as a portable Bluetooth speaker, so you could stream uh, music from your favorite streaming apps through it at the same time. But uh, basically, it's 10 watts and it's really loud. It's, it's uh, surprisingly loud for such a small little amplifier. And uh, Positive Grid is no stranger to um, awesome amp modeling and effects. And uh, basically, the amp is what we call a smart amp because it works in combination with the the Spark app, which is uh, free in the uh, iOS uh, in the App Store for iOS or Android uh, type devices, and it basically opens up a whole world of uh, amazing amounts of amplifiers and effects that you would have access to just in the app, and you can access hundreds of presets as well. So. Very cool stuff, and that's totally free. It works via Bluetooth, so you can just Bluetooth it up to your iPhone, your iPad, and uh, you're ready to uh, rock and roll. It sounds amazing. So let me just show you a little bit about what's going on here. I'm just going to uh, let you listen to the sound. So, uh, Kind of like an old school flexi ish type of tone. and I can edit any of the effects in real time or any of the amp models. So for example, if I want to change this amp model, I could double click it right here, and I've got this whole pull down menu of a lot of amazing amps. So let's say I wanted to go to the uh, rocker, which looks like it's similar to an orange type of amp, right? <laughs> change my effects at any time too I just click on it so like I've got my digital delay here and I can lower the level of the delay I can change you know any of the different parameters but I can also change the type of delay just by double clicking it and you can see I've got all these really cool uh, different delays here so for example let's choose uh, the multi head delay and you just double click on that okay let's see what that sounds like the effects on and off just by taking out of the, the signal chain just like that so that so really fun really easy and uh, positive grid also gives you access to what we call the tone cloud so it's totally free and uh, you can there's you can access thousands of different tones in there so if you want to look up your favorite player let's say you want to look up like a Vai, you know type of sound or a van halen or uh, a clapton tone you just go in there and uh, there's tons of different sounds that you can access and you can save your own sounds as well for free in the tone cloud one of the amazing things though about the app is that it also gives you some really cool interactive playing features. Um, you have access to hundreds of different backing tracks on YouTube and it'll analyze them and show you the chords to those backing tracks. So it makes playing a lot of fun. 
There's also an interactive feature called Smart Jam that analyzes your riffs and it'll give you a drum and bass groove back uh, without you having to program anything. So you could basically go ahead and play a riff and it'll play it back for you. But right now I'm going to dial up a backing track right here. Uh, this is just off of YouTube and it comes, you have access to it in the app and I can, oops, whoa, I can mix my backing track right here in here because as I mentioned this is a, a hi-fi speaker. So it's showing me the chords. different backing track. So lots of stuff you can do. Super fun. And again, it tells me... Sorry about that. Yeah. So I just dialed up another backing track. It shows me the chords. You can check it out if you need that. Um, for me, this is super fun because one of the ways that I used to practice growing up was just playing over the radio, you know? Right now, it's like difficult to sit. No, I got to learn something and... and, uh, and you know, it feels almost like a chore sometimes, but it's still, it's always fun <laughs> to just play along. Let's just go to like a, a clean sound here. So if I go to my presets, I've got this one preset that's uh, oh, this one right here. Yeah. 